Hi, I'm Tricia, an organic gardener. I grow organically for a healthy and safe food supply, for a clean and sustainable environment, for an enjoyable and rewarding experience. Budding and grafting are the easiest ways to get more fruit of a variety that you like, or to change the variety of a fruit tree, or to make your own multi-graft. Today I'll show you the easiest method for beginners, budding. Budding means you take just a bud from the cultivar you want and attach it to the rootstock or understock. Today I'll be demonstrating tea budding, which is the easiest. Budding works on trees younger than five with branches smaller than one half inch, and it's the main method used for stone fruits. Be sure to check the patent on any variety you want to bud or graft. A fruit tree patent lasts 20 years from filing in the U.S. Fruit breeders can spend as long as 15 or even 30 years to develop a variety, and respecting their patents ensures that they'll be able to continue to breed and develop delicious new varieties. Budding has to be done at the right time of year. Between mid-July and September is best. That's when the bark slips easily. Soil moisture has a lot to do with the bark slipping. If your bark doesn't, that means you probably don't have enough cambial activity. To encourage activity in the cambium layer, water the tree. If you're budding onto a young rootstock, it should be between a quarter and a half inch in diameter, and the bud should be set about six to 12 inches above the soil. For top working, meaning you're gonna change the variety or add a variety, the budding should happen between 12 and 18 inches from the trunk of the understock. Remove leaves and branches from the bud area so that you have a clean, smooth working surface. Once you have your budding site selected, cut some bud sticks from your desired cultivar. This should be done in the morning when the turgor pressure of the tree is at its highest. You want to cut nice, healthy shoots with plump buds from the current season's growth. The middle buds are the best, so you cut off and discard the top buds and the bottom buds. Cut off the leaves, but leave about half an inch of the petiole to use as a handle when budding. It's best to use the bud sticks right away. If you're doing quite a bit of budding, put the bud sticks that are waiting to be used in a labeled plastic bag in the shade. If you can't bud the same day you cut the bud sticks, or if the bud sticks are coming from a different location, they can be stored for up to five days in a plastic bag in the refrigerator. Just remember, the longer they're stored, the less chance of success. To remove the bud and to prepare your rootstock or understock for budding, you'll need a very sharp knife like this Felco Victor Knox. Prepare the rootstock or understock first by making a one and a half inch vertical cut through just the bark. Be careful not to cut the wood beneath. Cut across the bottom of your vertical slit with the blade angled up. I'm using an inverted T bud. Inverted T bud tends to be more successful because of the natural downward flow of hormones. A right side up T works too. I'm going to remove the bud of my new cultivar. Start your cut a half to three quarters of an inch below the bud and end it a half to three quarters of an inch above the bud. It's critical that the back of the bud shield be straight or else it won't take. The bud shield needs to be inserted immediately into the tee before it dries out. Slide the shield under the bark until it's roughly in the center of the vertical cut. Make sure that you insert it right side up. Buds put in upside down rarely take. Using grafting tape like this buddy tape, wrap the tape around the bud. Make sure the pressure of the tape doesn't pop the bud shield out. Make sure you don't cover up the bud. Leave it peeking out between the wrapping. Check back a week to 10 days later to see if it's taken. If the shield looks plump and the petioles have fallen off, that's good. If it's all dried and shriveled up, better luck next time. The bud won't sprout this year. Next spring, right before bud break, cut off the wood a half an inch above your successful budding and be alert to pinch off all other shoots in the area except your new bud. Marking it with some paint can help. Make your own multi-graft tree and grow organic for life.